Hi everyone and welcome back to Teaching Bee. So in today's lesson we are going to be doing adding and subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators. So let's go ahead and get started. I start with an addition problem. I have seven and two fifths plus three and one fifth. So with this set, we are working with like denominators. And within our answer, we are gonna get some whole number and then we're gonna get a fraction with the same like denominator. So no matter what, our denominator will be five. Now the question is, is what is the whole number and what's our numerator answer going to be? So we take our whole number, we do our whole numbers first. So we have our whole number seven and we have our whole number three and we're gonna add those together. You can take any high, uh, household item. I went ahead and did crayons. So I have seven crayons over here on my left plus three more crayons. So seven plus three. So how much does that, how many does that make? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten crayons total. So seven plus three is ten. Then we're going to take our numerators on top. We have our two and our one, and we're going to add those two together. We can use the crayon example again. So I have one, two crayons plus one more crayon. So that gives me three. So two plus one on top is three. And so in this case, our answer is gonna be 10 and three fifths. And let's go ahead and do a subtraction problem with like denominators. Let's do the problem um, 10 and four fifths minus seven and three fifths. So in this case, we're gonna be doing the same thing when we get our answer. We're gonna to try to find some whole number and then our fraction with the same like denominators, which in this case again is five. So we'll take our two whole numbers. We have 10 minus seven is what we're working with first. And I already have my 10 crayons. So if I have 10 crayons and I'm gonna take away seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many crayons are left over? One, two, three. So 10 minus seven is three. Then we're gonna take our numerators on top, so our four and our three, and we're gonna subtract those. So what is four minus three? So I have my four crayons right here, and I need to take away three. One, two, three. I have one crayon remaining. So four minus three is one. And our answer now is three and one fifths. If you have any other questions or any problems you'd like me to solve, please put them down in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you.